Hi guys, and welcome to attempt number 11. <laughs> yes, the 11th attempt to getting this video done. So, what you are looking at is a skirt that I made. It's actually, um, I'm turning it into a dress. I'm working on that, but right now it's a skirt, and I made it all completely in blender. And uh, it's not too bad right now. And here you can see I'm pulling out some of the verts to try to start making the bodice of the dress. I have this vision in my head I'm trying to work with, but there you have it. And guess what? It wasn't that hard to get this far at all. And I'm going to teach you how I did it. So first off, we're going to go, we're going to start with the model that we're going to fit it to. And I'm using a Ruth OBJ object model. And I got that from the Ruth Master. Um, you can get Ruth and Roth, the male version, um, the OBJs, etc., from the GitHub. And I'll give you all that information during class if you want it. But it's just a lot easier to have something to shape the mesh to. And there goes my dogs going on pause. Okay, sorry about that. My dog decided she needed to warn me about the killer leaf blowing across the yard. I love my dog. I really do. But she's crazy. Okay, so OBJ, you can get Ruth or Roth in the GitHub. I'll explain all that. So what we're going to do next is click on the OBJ. Make sure it's set at 0, 0, 0. The top two, X and Y, are the ones that matter right now. We're going to make a skirt. So we're going to add mesh cylinder. And as you can see, it's huge. And if we look at our numbers, it's also not centered on the AVI. We want it centered on the AVI right now, just because it makes it easier. So we're going to hit 0 and 0 again. And now it's centered on those two planes on the AVI. So now we have to scale it way down. Eek. So we're going to hit S for scale. And then we're just going to make it smaller. We're going to pull it up. Okay, and now we can start working with it. So the next thing we want to do is hit tab for edit. There's three different ways to manipulate mesh. Okay, right now it's set to manipulate on a line, and I'll show you. For those who are new to Blender, some of you may already know all this, and that's fine. See if we do that, it pulls out one line, but that's not what we want, so we're going to hit Control Z. We can do this one which affects just a single vertex, vertice, okay, and as you see, we pull that out, and the bottom one stays in place, but that's not what we want right now, so we're going to hit Control z When working with Blender, Control z is your friend. Remember that. Control z undoes a whole bunch of things that you've done. We want to affect the faces, so we're going to hit the Face button. Right-click on this face, hit Delete, delete the face. Flip over to the bottom, repeat the process. Okay. So now we have something we can work with. We're going to tab again to go back to object mode, and we're going to scale this down some. We're going to scale it on the x axis, scale x, bring it in, and then the y axis, scale y, and then we're going to move it over. Scale Y. Let's see, we can scale Y some more and move it back. Now, that's about where we want it for the waist, and that's what we want to do right now is make sure the waist. There's easier ways to do it, but I like to start at the waist and work outwards. We could have just left it really big and then just scaled in the waist part, but either way, there's going to be more work. So now we want to add some vertices because it's not going to be big enough. Um, we're going to hit Tab, go to Edit Mode. Now, we can't just start manipulating now because we don't have enough areas to manipulate. See, all these have to be different sections because they're all not going to be the same size. See, if we leave it on this, let's go to lines, and if we adjust this line, for instance, it's all the same size. So let's hit Control-Z, 
and I'll show you how we get what we want. Two ways to do it. One gives you complete control over where you're making your divisions, and that's what we're going to do. Loop, cut, and slide. Right click on that, come over here, or left click, excuse me, left click here, scroll up down, we're going to decide where we're going to put it, and then we're going to do it all over again. Left click, left click, scroll, left click. And we're just going to do this a bunch of times. And the areas where we're going to need more adjusting, we're going to have, of course, more of these than the areas we won't need as many adjustments because how many verts and faces and tries affects how well this will render in world, how fast, as well as how much it's going to lag someone out. Like this area doesn't need as much. Okay. And then here, and I'm going to just add one more. And we can always add more later but I just want to give you an idea for now. When we're done, this is actually going to end up being a lot longer, too. But for now, that gets us started. So what we're going to do now is we're going to Alt-click on one of these, the top one. Well, we're going to right-mouse-click, and then we're going to right Alt-right-mouse-click, and we're going to scale it in just a little more, Ooh, so just so we get used to working with it. Okay. You can see it's very, very fiddly. I actually probably had it in close enough. That'll do for now. Now for the rest, we're going to right mouse click, Alt to get the whole line all the way around, see? And we're going to do that all the way down. Shift, Alt, right, Shift, Alt, right, Shift, Alt, right. Eek. Not that one. Not that one. And then we're going to hit S for scale. And see it came out. But now we've got to make sure that we bring it down so that doesn't get messed up. And see, now it became much longer. But look, we got booty sticking out. We don't want the booty sticking out. So what we're going to do is fix these. Alt. Shift Alt, Shift Alt. We're going to scale on, that would be Y, scale Y. Okay, so now the booty is hidden, but that doesn't look like it's going to be very good, right? So we're going to add these in for some more scaling, but only on X and Y now. So if we do it all, it's going to get too long. We don't want it too long. So scale Y, pull it out. That looks pretty funny, doesn't it? Scale X, pull it out. And now, Alt, Shift, Alt, Shift, Alt, Shift, Alt, Shift, Alt, Shift, Alt. We could have actually shrunken the other ones, but I want this big and poofy because I want it to be really dramatic for you. So, scale Y, bring it out. Scale X, whoops, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Bring it out, okay. So it looks more like a cake, doesn't it? But that's okay. We're gonna hit tab for object. And you're looking at me and you're saying, yo, that like, doesn't look like a dress at all. It looks like a battleship. And you're right. Normally I would make this even more round, but like I said, this is attempt number um, 11. And it would be 12, except I'm leaving in the barking dog just because I don't want to start over yet again. Okay, so we have our skirt selected. Well, what we hope will turn into our skirt, and it will. We're going to come over here. We're going to click on this little box, and that's the physics box. I'm going to scroll up so you can see. And we're going to tell this prim that it's cloth. I've got it set for silk. Steps. I'm going to put in 15. The higher the steps, the more lo more time it's going to take, but the better quality. And that's going to be true a little bit further down here. Let me scroll down. Come on. There we go. So cloth collision. We want to tell it self collision. We're going to put steps for quality. I'm going to make that 10. OK. And then we can do this. 
Okay, cloth field weights. And let's set this for two, just to see what happens. Okay. And you can affect the gravity too, higher or lower. I haven't played with that yet, so I'm not sure. So let's, uh, baby steps for all of us, right? Now, before we can say we're done, there's something else that has to be done. Now, it's already done on this one because, like I said, this is the 11th attempt, but I need to show you how to do it. You click on your OBJ, okay, and you click on that, and you want to tell it it's a collision. So now I just made it not a collision. So click, it's a collision. You can tell because it's giving you all this. We're not going to change any of that. Now we're going to click on this again, okay, and we're going to go to cloth cache and we're going to hit bake. Now this is going to take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and hit bake. Then I'm going to hit pause so you're not sitting here watching paint dry. Okay, so bake and I'll be back in a couple. Okay, I'm back. So um, I ended up rebaking it because it looks like total crap. So um, I went in and I fixed it and I made it more round and stuff. And uh, so we can see how it looks. Now, one thing I did forget to tell you is before you hit bake, make sure this little green bar here is set all the way to the left. Okay, so you're ready to see what happens now. So now we can move this over, and as you can see, we can go step by step, and there's various uh, looks to it, and we just have to go through until we find the folds and the drape and the hang that we like. That's close to what we like now. I know it still doesn't look very dress-like because of all these little squares and stuff, but we're going to change that. But first, let's just find something that looks like something we might want to work with. And we can go all the way to the end and say, hmm, okay, so let's go back and let's pick, let's pick about, about there, right about there, sure. Okay, so we're going to pick right about there. But it doesn't look very dress like you're saying, and you're right. So we need to do one more thing to get rid of all this weirdness. And that is we come over here to smooth. Ta-da! And now it's something we can work with. Not quite. Now we have to save it as an OBJ so it holds this shape. So we do File, Export, OBJ, Make sure that selection only is picked. As you can see, I've done this a few times already and deleted a few of them even. So I'm going to hit 4, or I'm going to hit uh, the plus button so it changes to 4, and I'm going to export it. And it's exported. I'm going to open up a new layer, file, import the OBJ we just saved, OBJ, and dun dun dun, number 4. And now we can do some editing. So let's go over here. And, oh, there's nothing in that one. Okay, so what we'll do is click on it, hit M for move, move it to that other layer. And there, now it's on the avatar. And we can start making some edits. And tab to edit. And this is what we're gonna do. We want it to be in lines for now. We're gonna hit this line, Alt, Scale this in, S for scale, do big, and now we do some extra tweaking. Scale Y, bring it in a little more, there. Okay, we want to do the same here. <clears throat> Alt to get all the lines, scale, bring it in. See, if we bring it in too much, got stuff showing so it's it's a bit of guesswork okay and we're gonna do that all the way down and then you might need to add don't forget you might need to add more loop cuts and slides in the certain areas to get that look for instance you might want the um, behind to be very pronounced with the skirt so you can really see the behind or you might want it full like this but we want it more rounded. And we can do that in two different ways. You can go through and go step by step, or you can, let's go to faces, okay? Hit C. I'm gonna show you how much different it looks. We do that, okay? And all I did was left 
left click to get all those. If you don't want them all, we hit the uh, mouse scroll button and it unselects. Okay, but we want, I'm going to smooth this out and I'm going to show you how to do that. Then you uh, right mouse button to make the C go away so you can do what you need. And then what we're going to do is smooth vertex. Do that a couple times and see it's bringing them in more in line to each other. And that's just a faster way of doing it. Okay. And then we can do the same in the front. Click on one so it unselects everything in the back or deselects. Then hit C and let's do a bunch here. And let's smooth, 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 smooth. See now it's less pronounced there. And then you just go through and do that until it looks the way you want. Go back to object mode. You can see how it's going to look. So it's looking pretty good. So that's your homework. All right. With the next class, we'll talk about how to do the rigging. And there's two ways to rig, probably more. Um, there's two ways that I know of. One is using Avastar, and the other is with weight painting. Weight painting is totally over my head, but I use Avastar. It's uh, fairly simple for the most part, and that is what I will be teaching you. So any questions, ask away. Big hugs, and see you next time.